Hello! In this video, I will be explaining Backrooms Level 789, also known as Why is 6 Afraid of 7? Get it because the level's number is 789, and the end of the joke is because 789? <laughs> level is so mentally and physically crazy that I know y'all are gonna enjoy it because everyone watching this video is all mentally crazy and physically crazy. So, without further talking, let's hop into it. Backrooms level 789 is the 790th level in the lore, and at first glance, it takes the appearance of a mathematical art museum or showroom type area that seems to be very, very unstable at a molecular level. It's classified as a class PSI and is unsafe, unsecure, and a huge mental and physical hazard to those who find themselves stuck here. Plus, if you know anything about the levels with this classification, you know how dangerous they are. The level as a whole looks like a modern gallery, museum, hall type area that is displaying what seems to be mathematical objects. These objects include models of geometric shapes like polyhydra, fractal art, optical illusions, and curves and that sort of thing, and other mathematical displays. Some of the pieces and some of the objects are in the form of 3D models and are placed right on the table for you to see, others are in glass boxes for you to view, and then some of them are 2D and they're on frames in the walls or even sewn into the carpet. Pretty much the entire level is just math. It's like calculus class threw up inside of a museum. Certain pieces of art seem to be made out of very specific materials, like all paper, all wood, or all wire, and they can all range widely in size, from a few inches to a few feet. Some of the pieces even take up entire exhibit rooms, but nevertheless, all of them are mathematically themed. This entire level really looks like a showroom or a museum that has one goal, and that is to show you the physical manifestation of math. There's a main hallway that you'll start in where you can see the displays, and off that hallway, there are other smaller halls that shoot off in different directions. Each of these hallways then will connect to a room or two, and that's how big the level is. It kind of shoots off and keeps shooting off. Along with all the art and the math stuff, there are other artifacts floating around the level in its airspace. These objects visually match depictions of what we think are 4D items that exist in a 3D space, meaning that these artifacts and items can travel directly through solid matter with ease. They can shrink, they can grow on command, they can go through walls or the floor because they're 4D. They also emit very high frequencies and have been detected to match the exact mathematical digits of different constants, like pi or square root of two. These artifacts are very unique in the fact that they don't obey physics, they're non-Euclidean, and they also seem to be very ethereal. Essentially, the air, the physical ground, and everything involved in this level is math. It's just glitchy math warping constantly. Most of the level stays on normal properties of reality, meaning you're not going to fall through the floor and you're not gonna to be too glitchy, but there are certain areas of the level that are much more unstable than others. These areas have been nicknamed as mathematically incorrect spaces, and they're very, very dangerous. Very little is known about these incorrect spaces, but what we do know is that they simply shouldn't exist by all laws of physics. Traveling into these areas and these rooms is essentially sealing your own fate. It would begin to break you down at a molecular and atomic level, and pretty much it would blend you up into static and pixels, and you would be absorbed into whatever room you walked into. Which is, you know, as fun as that sounds, it would be very painful, and I would say one of the worst ways to go out inside the back rooms. You would be turned into like a static smoothie. These incorrect areas will also deteriorate your mind simply by you being near them. It's like it'll literally break you down mentally and physically, as if it's crumbling you up like a piece of paper. Not fun. It's also thought that the majority of this level could eventually be mathematically incorrect if it keeps collapsing at the rate it is. So venture here at your own risk, or don't. You don't have to. I'm not enforcing you to or anything. As far as entities are concerned, they are present here, but they are very rare. Usually they're unnaturally shaped or have strange proportions, or honestly, they just look wrong. For instance, if you see a smiler here, it won't just be two eyes with a smile. It'll be 
10 plus eyes with smiles all surrounding each eye. Or if you see a clump, you'll see extremely long arms glitching through walls and floors and fusing together with other clumps. Now, interestingly enough, this level is also home to a very rare entity called the memory worm, which is also detrimental to your mental health if you interact with it. The worm essentially hijacks your mind and feasts on your memories, which again, doesn't sound great. There is also some sort of level exclusive entity that appears in the museum sometimes. This entity is a female and has been nicknamed Teletrix. She will attempt to manipulate wanderers in a number of ways, both mentally and physically. What happens after she tries to manipulate you is unknown, but all we know is that some people have been seen following her and they came back completely different. They look different, they act different, and they're just molecularly made differently. It's thought that Teletrix somehow breaks you down and then builds you back up from a mathematical atomic standpoint. Who knows though? The only physical description we have is that Teletrix is some kind of glitchy, shadowy female figure that kind of hides in those mathematically incorrect zones. She also possesses 4D capabilities and can warp through things in the level and travel wherever she wants to. If she absorbs you or touches you, essentially you will also be blended back into static and glitch and math. So just try to avoid her. Don't listen to anything she says. There are no bases in this level, for obvious reasons, it's way too unstable for that. And to enter, you can come here from level 4 or level 12, just by no clipping, or you can no clip through level square root of 2 and end up here as well. I made a video on that level as itself, but as I mentioned earlier, this level and level square root 2 seem to have some weird connection, because they're both mathematical, they're both glitchy, but who knows. To exit, you're going to need to find a large paper parabola moving structure, rip it open, and then after you do that, you can jump into level 440. You can do this to any of those math-themed objects floating around, but just make sure it's made out of paper. So level 789 is a mathematical clustered level that seems to be on the verge of breaking down on a mathematical atomic level. It is unstable, it is glitchy, and some parts exist even though they shouldn't. And Teletrix seems to control it all. I mean, as fun as that sounds, I'm still wondering, why is 6 actually afraid of 7? Is 7 mean or something? I don't know. At the bottom of the level's page, there is a log of a few people exploring this level and kind of figuring out those mathematically incorrect spaces. And the further you go down in these logs, the more disturbing it gets. So I would recommend go checking these out. It would make the video way too long if I read it. And also, I don't think you guys want to watch it, but I definitely recommend checking it out. The people involved in this log at the end of the level page are codenamed 6, 7, 8, and 9. So you can kind of see where the level gets this, you know, joking name from because 7, 8, 9, and in the log, 8 and 9 get absorbed by 7 which is the, you get it, you get what I'm saying. Check it out if you want to read it. I definitely recommend checking it out if you want to see some people get absorbed into the level. It's it's very horrifying. It also goes into more detail on how Teletrix physically and mentally apprehends their victims. So yeah, that was level 789. Thank you all for watching until the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like as it's free and I would appreciate it. It helps grow the channel, helps grow the videos. And let me know if you like the level and what other things you want to see from me. I mean, like Trevor Henderson's, SCPs, backroom stuff, you know the drill. If you want more creepy stuff from me in documentary format, check out my third channel, Spoogly, because I upload one long video each week. The channel's growing like crazy, and I'd appreciate it if y'all want to get there uh, before 100k. We're going to hit 100k, I would say, pretty soon. And if you want to be a part of that, check it out. Thank you for all you do. Make sure you tell somebody that you love them, and make sure you tell somebody you appreciate them, because life is too short not to. And with all that said, I'm going to see you in the next video on any of my channels.